Okay, so while we cake and <laughs> cake and go, while we prep, I guess, I kind of wanted to discuss a strategy going into this tufting project. Um, so for my last rug, the Beetlejuice rug, the last video, I started with the details first and then I kind of carved it up before I did the outline. Um, so I was thinking of taking a similar approach this time around. Um, it definitely proved to be beneficial. It came out really clean, like I mentioned in the last video. It is my cleanest rug to date. Um, so I kind of wanted to continue on with doing that. So I reckon I could do the pink parts first and then follow up with the white and then finish the outline with the black. Um, I have gray too, so maybe I should do the gray nostril holes first, carve it up, outline it in black, and then do the pink. But I mean, I'm already making pink yarn cakes, so. I'm gonna go with the pink first. Uh, maybe I'll just leave that part with the gray um, for last. But that's my tentative plan. Uh, I'm interested to see how that's gonna go. I really hope that it proves to be as beneficial as the last time. But I guess we'll see. Nothing mentioned, nothing gained, am I right? And I don't know if I've said it before, but I love this yarn winder. It has made my life so much easier since I bought it. Uh, I got it off of Amazon. I think it's like 15 bucks, maybe 20, something like that. Anyways, it looks flimsy. I'm not gonna lie, it kind of is flimsy, but it gets the job done, so I'm not gonna complain. Anyways, let's go back to the time lapse. Hey guys, back at it again. It's Danny with Danny Dimes. For those of you who don't know me, and for those of you who do, welcome back to my channel. Um, definitely feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that way you can get notified as to whenever I post new videos. Uh, today I'm going to bring you guys along with the creation of my pink strawberry cow rug. I'm making this for Atlas, my dog, and let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. If not, let's go. So... <laughs> I'm actually gonna put you guys in my chest because I got like $50 worth of GoPro accessories and I'm gonna use them. So we'll go ahead and start with the outline. That's right. So I don't necessarily do like quick lines. Um, I'll pulse it like you just saw. I try to get the shape I want first and then I'll just fill it in. Also, sometimes my scissors don't cut, um, and that has nothing to do with the gun. The gun that I bought was perfectly fine. Um, I just had a mishap one day. I got yarn in this piece, and in this piece, <laughs> it was not good. Uh, so I essentially had to take the gun apart and then um, when I took it apart, sorry, when I took it apart, I don't know if I necessarily did it correct. So what that means is that my gun sometimes turns into a loop pile gun, which I mean, it's great. That's not what it's for. <laughs> All right, so as you saw, outlined. Currently filling in. Look at those yarn balls. Yarn cakes, doing good. Gosh, you're too high up. Doing good, ladies. Keep it up. So nothing too fancy. We're just gonna go ahead and line everything up. Once we finish this hoof, we'll go ahead to the back and carve it to make sure that the shape looks good and crisp. Oh, she's cute. Nice little hoof. All right, so we're gonna go in and clean her up. 
So when I do carving, I don't have any tools for it yet, so I just use my usual scissors. Um, be very, very cautious to not cut through your tufting cloth. I've done that and it's not fun, especially when you're trying to make the rug look nice. Um, but yeah, so usually I will go both ways. I'll go up, I'll go down. That's why my camera angle continues to move around. repeat what we did to the first hoof. We'll do it um, three more times on the remaining hooves. That's just simply because either you had um, a loose tension in the in the thread, or you have loose tension in your claw. So if you end up tufting, and you see those like lines of missing yarn. It's probably the, one of those two reasons, which is an easy fix. If you haven't noticed by now, it is a combination of filling in the front one piece at a time and then going towards the back, cleaning it up, and then repeating. Leaned up the front. Cute little cow. Honestly, I'm so excited for it. Thank you guys for joining. Um, I'm actually gonna go get some food, get some beers, and just kind of chill out the rest of today and we'll hopefully finish it tomorrow. All right, guys, not gonna waste too much time. It is day two on our Valentine's Day Atlas Cow Rug. Um, not really gonna say too much. Let's just get into it. I'm gonna put you guys on my chest, gonna put you guys on my wrist. Let's get rolling. Again, outline, line it up, fill it in. Okay, so I was thinking about doing a heart, but I don't know. I mean, I could kind of go like, maybe yeah, that's what I'll do, let's see. Right, let's keep, I can use, What do you think? It's kind of like abstracty. So I have 
videos of my head mount right now. And first off, the head mount looks funny as heck. I'm not, I'm not gonna show you guys, but it does look funny. Um, and second, this yarn cake is not cooperating with me. It's really frustrating. Those yarn cakes, I'll tell you what, they definitely gave me a run for my money. But in the end, they started cooperating. So everything started moving a little bit smoother, which I appreciated. Um, so yeah, make sure that you yarn cake your yarn because it will definitely save you a lot of time. <laughs> So ultimately at this point, I decided to fill in my nostril holes. I did the gray first, uh, went to the front of the of my frame and trimmed it up. And then I went back in again, I outlined it in black. Um, same thing, after I finished the outline in black, I went to the front, carved it up, and then I will finish it in pink. All right guys, we're on day three. Um, I just want to point out that it doesn't take three days. I've just been working like a few hours each day on this project. I reckon I could have gotten it done in maybe like a couple hours. Um, but right now, just to recap, we've done the pink hooves. We've got the pink spots in. Um, we got the little nostril holes on and we're gonna go ahead and do the pink snout and we'll work on the inside of the white and then outline it. So let's get to it. I've actually run out of yarn. This is the remaining pink I have, and this is what I have left. Um, so. Oh, all right, well, that's depressing. This is what I have left. Well, that's all we got. So. I'm gonna have to go to the store and finish it. Let's see what it even looks like. Oh my gosh, this is almost done. So sad, I'm so very sad. All right, well, since we ran out of pink, I guess let's go ahead and start with um, some of the white. I reckon we could start up here. We'll go ahead and do the horn, work our way to the ears, and just kind of go from there. So let's get to it. You guessed it, do the outline first, and then we will line up the insides. The horns are a little bit of an exception just because I didn't want to make a bunch of straight lines, a bunch of them. So I just did horizontal lines, went down and carved out my ears. Here I am filling them in and onto the next ear. Now with these, I didn't immediately go to the back to carve them, um, just because I realized that they do have enough space between each other. Um, I did carve it, I just didn't show you guys, but here I am, I guess, outlining <laughs> the melon, the big old head of the cow. I decided to take a different approach with the face, just because I didn't fill in the eyeballs yet, but I did know that I wanted to carve them out. Um, so yeah, this was my approach. All right, so what I think I'm gonna do is fill in the eyes here. Just because I think that it'll be better to put the eyes in, carve them, and then finish up with the white.
is that? Oh my goodness. That would be way better if I had more pink, but we don't. So we're gonna go ahead and do this. It is adorable. Oh, I gotta go in here and clean it up a little bit more. All right, so this is the fun part. Filling it in is my absolute favorite part of the rug, especially when it does not have a lot of detail. And now for my ultimate favorite is the outline. I really believe that outlining your piece makes it come a little bit more to life. It gives it a little bit more depth in my opinion. So that's what I'm doing here. I typically will go in with about two or three layers of double yarned lines. Um, just to make sure that it has defined layers and when I go in with my sheep shears as well as my um, carpet carving clippers that it um, won't take out too much of the black. It'll just take out the additional pieces that aren't really necessary. Um, and if you notice, I'm only going around the pieces that I have um, already carved. I'm going to leave the other side of the cow alone until I get the white on there. And I won't go inside of the hooves on the top until I get the white around those as well. I do take a similar approach. I will um, outline everything in the middle, uh, not just the actual you know, boundaries of the inside of the cow's chest. You notice I went around and I carved, or I guess I outlined the hooves, and then I outlined the little heart patch as well as the other pink patch that is in the, um, in the cow's chest. legs oh, not tufted just so that way I could come in here with the black to outline it. I went towards the front, didn't record it again, but I did clip up and carve the leg, I guess, accessories, the leg details. Um, that's why you see some of the black there. But then I went in, finished off with the pink, I mean sorry, I finished off with the white, and now here I am finishing the entire outline in black. Neighborhood Walmart. I uh, got some more colors. Really, it was just this one. I'm pretty sure it's the same color. Yeah, anyway, so, yep, we got that. Got some more white. Um, and we got some more colors for our next project. But, um, yeah, so let's get to it. A blast doing it from start to finish with the design, the lines, the tufting. Just all of it was really a joy to do. It was fun bringing this to life. Um, I'm excited to carve it up. I'm excited to wait for it to dry and I will definitely be posting the results. Feel free to follow me, subscribe, like, comment, um, follow any of my social media platforms. You can see a lot more of my pieces there. Um, all the finished pieces and the ones in the works. But if not, thanks for joining. Thanks for watching. This is Danny Dimes. All right, so we are finished. Looks super good. I actually went in, I cleaned up some of the lines so that way it looks a little bit more crisp. And I'm so pleased. It's so cute. I was thinking about doing an outline, but I really think that this might be, this might be fine. I think I'm gonna go with it. Oh my gosh, adorable. <laughs> Thanks for joining in guys.